From the FPV view, you can press the R3 button to enter the gimbal camera view. Let's take the wide camera view for example. In the middle of the screen, you can see the wide camera view. The green frame on the top shows the current camera and the zoom factor. The green frame in the middle shows the area within the zoom camera view and zoom factor. If you tap the target on the screen, a yellow circle will appear for autofocus and auto exposure. You can drag the sun up and down to adjust the exposure. You can also use the touch screen to adjust the gimbal orientation. Just long press and then drag the gimbal or double tap the target. The bottom area is a combination of PFD and navigation display. You can refer to the FPV camera view for more details. Let's take a look at the left side. The first icon is laser ranging. Tap to enable the laser range finder. The distance between the target and the aircraft and the absolute altitude of the target will be displayed on the middle. The second icon is to adjust the gimbal orientation behaviors. On the top is the gimbal orientation mode. You can change it between follow mode or free mode. In follow mode, the gimbal orientation will follow the aircraft. In free mode, the gimbal will keep its orientation even if the aircraft rotates. Press L1 or tap the IR icon to enter the infrared camera view. Press L2 or tap the zoom icon to enter the zoom camera view. Press L3 or tap the pinpoint icon to set the current focused area as a pinpoint. Long press the button for color setting or pinpoint list. To learn more about pinpoint, you can watch the smart function video. Let's move to the right side. This part shows the parameters of the current camera. You can tap on the white icons to adjust them. This icon is for advanced parameter settings, such as the image ratio, how many photos you get within one shot, resetting the camera, format the SD card, etc. This icon is the shooting mode selector. In the photo category, you can choose single for normal photos, smart for smart low light photos, timed for continuously countdown, high res grid photos, and panel for panorama photos. In the video category, you can choose a different resolution. Use the shoot icon to take a photo or start and end a video recording. This icon is simultaneous zoom function, which means the zoom and IR cameras will be zoomed in or out simultaneously and will be displayed in a split view. Press R1 to zoom in and R2 to zoom out for the area of zoom camera view. Press R3 to enter the FPV view. You can use L2 to enter the zoom camera view. On the left, you can see the smart track icon. When the smart track icon is enabled, moving subjects such as people and cars could be tracked. Tap the target and the camera will begin tracking. You can also select other objects as targets manually through tap and drag to create a rectangle. To learn more about smart track, you can watch the smart functions video. The AFC on the upper right means autofocus continuously, which is recommended for beginners. In manually focus mode, you can only set the focus using the focus bar. You can also change it to AFS, autofocus single, which requires half pressing the shoot button or tapping the target for focusing. You can choose the photo resolution between 4K and 8K in the advanced parameter setting for the zoom camera. You can press L1 to enter the infrared camera view. Let's go through some exclusive functions within the infrared camera view. Infrared camera view is only available for M30T. The palette bar shows the highest and lowest temperature in the area. Tap to choose from different palette options, such as tint 
and iron red. You can also turn on the isotherm function to customize the temperature range. We have two modes for the infrared camera. The 0 to 500 Celsius degrees is the low gain mode as before. A wider temperature range can be captured with the lower sensitivity to the temperature. Minus 20 to 150 Celsius degrees is the high gain mode as before with a narrower range but higher sensitivity. SBS means side by side. You can see the infrared camera view on the left and zoom camera view on the right. While the side by side view use the R1 and R2 for the zoom camera and tap this icon to adjust the zoom settings of the infrared camera. Long press this icon to set it back to two times. When the simultaneous zoom is turned on, you can use R1 or R2 to zoom in or out both cameras. FFC, which stands for flat field correction, can improve the performance of the infrared camera. Auto FFC is turned on by default, and you can set a manual correction by tapping on this icon. In the middle of the infrared camera view, you can tap a target to measure its temperature, or drag a frame for area temperature measurement. For the area temperature measurement, tap the scissors icon to make a screenshot. Tap the bell icon for temperature alert. We have several new features in advanced settings for infrared camera. ROI which stands for region of interest, can maximize the contrast of the target region. For instance, if there is a large area of sky in the image, you may select sky excluded 33% or 50% to ignore the sky and provide higher contrast. Scene. This function can enhance your image quality. We recommend inspection scene to get more detail and less noise. Infrared Image Super Resolution This function can double the resolution of infrared photos and videos with sharper details. We recommend always having it turned on. 